Hola, José Luis, welcome. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day? I'm at work. Yes. You are you are still at work? Oh my god. Yes. I'm gonna still, be a listener. Today. Still closing the <laughs> the company. Yes. I'm gonna be a listener today. Okay, I will try. I will try not to question you a lot. I say. Okay. <laughs> He'll be like, Jose Luis, Jose Luis, <laughs> what is your answer? And you will be very busy. <laughs> okay, thanks. Don't worry. Hello, Mr. Hernan. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Um, very good. <laughs> you doubt about it. Okay. Well, welcome. El, 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 el suspiro de la adultez. <laughs> ah. Venimos corriendo, pero ya estamos acá a tiempo. I know. I know it's very sí. difficult. It, it is so yeah. Exciting to be running and to be like, yeah, I can make it, I can make it <laughs> to the class. Sí. That is very yes, complicated. Teacher. I think, uh, well, yeah, I have been there a lot. <laughs> that I say like, I need to connect, I need to connect. <laughs> I am running to my house. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah sí. Sí. that is really terrible. <laughs> what time do you finish working? Hello, teacher. What time Hola. do you finish working, Hernan? One, ¿A qué horas um, termina de trabajar? Pues, um, usually, um, um, six, six. Ah, yeah, at 6 mm -hmm. p.m. That's the worst part of the traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, teacher. And... Sorry. Where do you where do you travel? Where do you work? Um, I mean, in which part? In San Salvador, in Santa Tecla, Soyapango, where? Um, San Salvador, um, um, for Metro Centro. Uh, Near Metro Centro, yes. Sí. And where yes, do you teacher. and where do you live? Sí. ¿Y a yes, dónde vive? Ah, um, Constitución. Ah, yeah. You have the worst part of the traffic. All the traffic of mm. Metro Centro, La Gloria, all. Oh, my God. That's why. Sí, sí. No, mm. that's, a, that's the most horrible thing. Mm. All the traffic sí. in, in Redondel Chafik and all that is like, uh, that's so horrible. <laughs> I know, sí. I know. Well, but... I understand why you, you are running late all the time. Um, every day. Uh-huh. And, and running and, uh, for traffic. And, le puede decir? Uh, y prácticamente todos los días puede correr por el traffic. I know. Like, there is traffic every day, you say. There is traffic yeah. every day. It happens that every single day happens that you get stuck on traffic. So it's sí. like, yes, it's yes, a very yes. common thing. Yeah. yeah. If, if it is not one yeah. thing, it's another one, right? But we are always on traffic. Sí, sí. Yes. Más, um, um, ¿cómo se dice? Por las ventas de, o por las compras de fin de año navideñas. Ah, for the for the season because of the season you say. Sí, se pone todavía el tráfico más pesado. Ay ya. Oh my mm -hmm. god. It's like I know. Mm -hmm. Toda la gente quiere comprar en mí y todos compran en la noche. Sí. I mean it's like ¿Sí? go, go shopping at noon you say. Sí. Come on. It's like very difficult. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Welcome my dear class. We were talking about uh, traffic with Hernán. 
and the difficulties of coming back from work in the sí, afternoon. Teacher. Lucky the ones that have a motorcycle because they go inside the traffic and that is so nice. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Magdiel. How are you? Mr. Eric, Jasmine. Jasmine, que gusto verle. Jose Luis, Blanquita, Nelson. Thank you very much for the audios. You see, it was very entertaining to listen to all the audios. And I, I really like that you were liking other people and asking questions. I mean, hello, Blanquita. That was very good, right? We have doubts about the salad, but we don't know, right? Hasta no ver, no creer. <laughs> so it is it is really nice. And, and it is the first day, right? It was like, mm, yeah, a little bit of doubt and everything. Todavía algunos lo mandaron algo con penitas y como, ay, me van a oír, vea. But it was nice. I mean, that's the idea. That's the idea of the audios. Tomorrow you are going to have a different question. And every day I will try to, well, tomorrow, yes. On Saturday and Sunday, I will give you a vacation. But on Monday, um, you are going to have a different topic, right? So I am going to send you different topics during these days for you to practice, right? For you to practice, you can listen to your partners speaking. And it is it is really nice, right, to, to actually think uh, about a minute in English, right? But imagine if you do that every single day. Imagínese si lo hace todos los días. Tener como esa práctica de todos los días. Not only one minute, but then two minutes, then three, four, five conversations, right? Interactions every day. So it becomes a habit. And then, for sure, it is going to help you a lot with your with your pronunciation, with your vocabulary, etc. Right? So I will... I will keep on on the practice. It was the first day. I really like the the answers. I was listening to all of them during lunch in the afternoon when I was coming back with my husband in the car. <laughs> he was listening to you as well. And he told me, what did he say? What did she say? <laughs> and he was listening to the audios as well. So it was quite a challenge for everybody. I was very glad with your answers. Thank you for participating on the activity. If you are missing sending that one, you can still send it. Uh, or if you still have difficulties to send it today, you can send it along with the one on tomorrow. Okay, but uh, the idea is that you practice, right? ¿Qué les pareció la actividad? ¿Cómo se sintieron al grabar el, el, el audio? <laughs> ¿Les costó? ¿Lo grabaron varias veces? ¿Lo hicieron de una vez? How was it? Vamos a ver. Vamos a, a conocer el otro lado del audio. Ajá. Cuéntenme, ¿cómo les fue? I first write in my book uh, a little ideas and then I, I write sometimes and after I record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <I'm sending. laughs> okay, you wrote down some ideas. Good. That was Raúl's experience. You were one of the first ones, in fact of sending it. Let's see, how was the rest of you? A ver, Nelson, how was your experience with the audio? Mm, mm, very nice. Uh -huh. mm, I take three, I try tea three times because I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was nervous, you say. Uh, I was nervous, yes. Thank you, baby. But I, I did. <laughs> but you did it. Okay, so yeah, it was. That's that's the idea, right? That you, I mean, take the risk. Who did it without writing? Quién lo hizo sin escribir? A ver. Así. Me, teacher. Blanca. I huh? job. Ah, okay. So you didn't have time to, to think that much. It was just like, let's do this. But I had to repeat twice because I 
I almost have an accident. <laughs> really? Oh we're, my God. We're about to talk in the phone. Uy. So you need to be very careful. I, I don't want accidents, right? <laughs> no, right? No. Yeah, but I can. But I can went to my job uh, safely. Okay, good. I, I could arrive. You say I could arrive. To my okay, job. I could arrive to my job. Okay, Aleida says that she didn't write anything. It was all of a sudden, right? It was at first tried, Aleida. Um, good evening, everybody. Hello. Oh, uh, so it was difficult for me when I'm going to send an audio, specifically in English, because in the Spanish is very easy. It, <laughs> And usually I speak very fast and as English is like, oh my God, in my mind, in my mind, it's very fast. But when I am speaking, uh, uh, <laughs> it's very difficult. I think for everybody now, <laughs> because we are still learning. It happens, but, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't write anything. In this case, I just arrived to my home because I uh, finished my shift at six uh -huh. and after that i went to my uh, sister's house and then i come to my house i came to my I, house i'm oh, sorry i came to my house and when i arrived arrive uh my dog was hmm where is my 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 <laughs> food, my food? <laughs> right, 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 yes. and, and i was sending the the uh, the audio and wow 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 really? oh my god you know, I I couldn't send it that and I erase it <laughs> okay with Kaiser in the middle of the audio right <laughs> <laughs> yeah no, it, and it's like crying it's like mm, mm, <laughs> you know, she started with that yeah but you see it is it is nice you later on i mean after three or four days it's going to be like ah this and this and this teacher blah, blah, blah. and it's going to be easy for you it happens to me that in some cases i, I am about to finish the the audio and i make a mistake and i have to delete and repeat everything <laughs> that's so horrible <laughs> mr carlos we were missing you yesterday uh, yes, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't yeah. uh, connect. ¿Qué tal la fiesta? It was fine. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Raúl, sorry, you were going to say something and I interrupted. No, I, I only say that in my case, oh, well, in my opinion, I think it's more easy. It's easier. Send a, easier. Uh, send a, a, a voice note than uh, recording uh, a video because I remember <laughs> I remember at one teacher the he told me that when I when I recording a a, a, a homework uh -huh. like a video I need to 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 recording in front of a uh, of a mirror. <laughs> Okay. So it's very difficult for me that that do it. That's oh my but god. I learn I learn to to control my 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 nervous in front of a mirror. My ner my nervousness, me. you say my nervousness. Yeah, my I, nervousness. it is it is fun that uh, imagine I teach English virtual every night right i am in camera every night but when i have to do a video that i have to put it and record myself it's so frustrating i always get confused i always i, I don't know i don't know what happens right and for me being in class it's very normal and i'm like ah, every day right but when i am alone and i have to record it and it's so like i know it's 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 horrible i don't like it. so uh, I hope you continue enjoying the experience. Uh, I have another question for tomorrow, so you will see. You will see. You will see. We will have it ready. And uh, eventually you are going to feel that it is something normal for you. 
and for sure, if I am not your teacher in the next module, I am going to tell the teacher to continue doing it. Al que les toque, le voy a decir. Y sígale poniendo audios, por favor. Please. <laughs> continue the tradition. Well, my dear students, let's start. Today, uh, we're going to work a little bit on um, the book. We're also going to work a little bit on present continuous. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of reading and a lot of practice, okay? So that is going to happen today. Tomorrow is our last class of the week. This week, this week was so fast. My God, I, I didn't even feel it. Right? Hoy por la mañana cuando estaba pensando ahí, cavilando en la vida del cangrejo, dije yo, tomorrow's Friday. Say, my God, where is my life going? I said. <laughs> I didn't even feel the, the week. Well, so uh, today, as I told you, we're, we are going to work a little bit on reading, then a little bit of uh, present continuous ING forms, and then we're going to have a little bit of practice on the topic. Yesterday, we were talking about uh, these three profiles, right? It was the last activity we did at the end of the class. And um, we were talking about Teresa, Karen, and Lamar. The three of them do not have a job. They are looking for one. Uh, do you remember why Teresa is looking for a job? Why because is- Because she wants- uh -huh. nice. oh, Sorry. Because oh. she study art and it's very expensive and she wants to pay the study. She wants to pay for her studies. Very good. What about caring? Caring, why is she looking for a job? Yes, yeah, she is. Uh -huh. She's looking for a job because? Because she needs uh, money for her, the baby. Uh -huh. and, and pay the bills. Oh, I don't know if uh, another thing. She wants to save the money to buy what? Ah, save the money. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To buy what? She, it's right here. I think I'm sharing it, right? Yes. Uh, it is right here. It says, well, we want to save the money to buy, uh, to buy a, a house. house, right? To buy a house. And Lamar, he is my example to follow in my life. He wants the money because One day I am going to say the same. Algún día voy a decir eso. He wants to spend the money with his friends. He wants to spend the money with his friends, right? I remember the last time that I spent money with friends, uh, I was hit by my mother <laughs> because of that. <laughs> Me pegaron ese día. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Mami, te amo. Gracias por ese día. <laughs> I remember I was like, what, like eight years old or six, I, I think. No, I was in first grade. Yeah, I was six years old, six or seven. And I found 10, uh, 10 colones on the, on the table, right? And I said, ¿De quién son esos 10, 10 colones? 10 colones? ¿De quién son? ¿De quién son? I said, and no one said anything. So I took the money to the school. And I remember that I was buying chocolatinas and things for my friends. And the money was my mother's money. And when I came back, right, she was with my brother and my sister uh, on my CU. And I was like, what happened here? And uh, my mother said, like, estos dos se gastaron el pisto. And I was like, ah, the money, I said, the money that I had at school. Yeah. And then outside my house, right, was my best friend, right? Salud, Nati. Gracias por las chocolatinas. And I was like, Coyote. And my mother was like, which chocolatinas is she talking about? And I said, I, my brother and my sister didn't spend the money. It was me. Sorry. Blah. It was a nice day. Yeah. La lepina, por favor. Against the kids. So Lamar wants the money to spend it with his friends because he doesn't have a job. His father has a restaurant. They have money. So 
How do you say aquí no aplica? Ajá, aquí no aplica. Aquí. It's not applicable, you say. It's not applicable, the pina here. No. <laughs> no, not at all. No, I think, yo creo que más de alguno aquí tiene una historia de un cincho. O de alguna travesura. Everybody, has, Everybody to... has one. A thousand. <laughs> yeah. A thousand <laughs> things. Yeah. Well, I, was, I was such a rebel. With the belt, with the... With uh, the chili, with the chancleta, <laughs> with everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yo de veras disfruto cuando mis alumnos me dicen, pero mis, ¿y usted cómo sabe que esto iba a pasar? Yo, I was there. Aquí donde me ve, aquí donde me ve, le digo yo. Fui una rebelde sin causa. Uno cambia ya con el señor, gracias. So la mar is not going to change because he needs the money to go chilling with his friends. But here I have a other cases of people who actually have jobs, right? I have Lisa Parker. Without reading, what do you think is Lisa Parker's job? I'm going to cover it. Actress. Ah, she's an actress. <laughs> she's an actress, right? And uh, how many jobs does she have? She has two jobs, right? She has two jobs. She works as a waitress and as an actress, right? During the day, uh, she audition auditions for plays and uh, television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. She's an actress and a waitress. The dream job that I have and I have, I have always wanted, he's a video game tester. That's one of the jobs that everybody wants to have, right? John is a video game tester. He plays video games during the whole day. And it says, lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Would you like to have any of these two jobs, people? Yes, the second one. <laughs> the video game tester? Yeah. Imagine if they open one for Candy Crush. <laughs> I play it. I will play it there. <laughs> I played this game. If they open, oh, really? Yes. Yeah, me too. Me too. I play. I play a lot. I really like it. I really like video games. So I would really like to have this job, the video game tester. But what about the actress? Would you like to be an actress or an actor? Maybe yes. Yes. It's very, it's very interesting. I, I I will really like. Would you like to be a waiter or a waitress? What? A waiter or a waitress? No, the... sure. I do yeah. like it. Why? Uh, I think it's very difficult and dangerous. Imagine it, if you don't have a. Uh, how do you say equilibrium in English? Balance. Okay, if you don't have enough balance with all the dishes and glasses in your hand <laughs> and you have an accident. It's uh, true. Know, it's, yeah, it's very dangerous and it's very uh, it's yeah. stressful, I think, because you don't uh, know if the other person is going to be uh, comfortable with the food or I don't know. I yeah. think I. I think some people uh, in that works sometimes receive bad, uh, bad treats, no, bad, bad behaviors. Treatment, treatment, you say. Okay, bad treatment, correct. Yes, uh, I think it is difficult to deal with the clients, right? To deal with the clients, people who are very rude and everything. 
And well, I don't know if you have had any issues someday in a restaurant. Just raise your hand. No me digan ni qué restaurante ni nada. ¿Han peleado alguna vez en un restaurante? I have. <laughs> no yet. No yet. But it's something on your bucket list, right? A later, I yes. <laughs> I prefer it if I have a bad experience in a restaurant and never come back. Okay. No, I go out. I mean, I talk to the manager and I I fight for my rights. I get a discount or something, but I fight for my rights. <laughs> yeah, outside the restaurant. No, no. I am not that rebel. Okay. Soy rebelde, pero no, nunca fui tan rebelde, right? Como de incendiar cosas. No, tampoco. So Aleida, yes, she says that she has had issues in restaurants. Aleida seems that she fights for her rights as well. Oh, always. Yes, I am rebel too. Or many people consider that uh, this is, uh, how do you say, como peleonera, pleitista, fighter? <laughs> <laughs> that is like, well, uh, it's not a, like a fighter, but it's like, no, I think it, it, it fits on rebel. Yes, because I always uh, a troublemaker. You say a troublemaker. Ah, uh, a troublemaker. Okay, I am a troublemaker always because if I go to some place and someone is not good, uh, I think you can uh, you can ask for your rights. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you, you, you can and you should. Right? Uh, yeah, but always with uh, so much respect to the person who is attending me because I know everybody can, ha can have a uh, mistake, can make mistakes. mistakes. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You fight, you fight in a good way. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So let's read about Lisa Parker. Go with me. Lisa Parker has two jobs. Everybody, Lisa go ahead. Parker. Lisa, Lisa Parker, Parker has, has two has jobs. Two Lisa jobs. Parker has two jobs. Okay, let me make it bigger so you can read better. Okay, para que puedan ver ahí mejor. Lisa Parker has two jobs. Lisa, Lisa Parker, Parker has two jobs. jobs. She works as a waitress at night. 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 But she's really an actress. But she's really, she's really an actress. During the day, during the day, during the day she auditions for plays and television shows. She auditions audition for plays and television, television shows. shows. Her schedule is difficult. Her schedule is difficult. And she's tired a lot. And she's tired, and she's tired, a, lot. tired, a, lot. tired a lot. But she's following her dream. But she's, she's following, following her dream. dream. Her dreams. I love Blanquita's baby that she repeats as well. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so um, difficult with her teacher. No, don't worry. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Lo chivo que repite, bien linda. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. Lots. Yeah. Lots. 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 Lots, of lots of teenagers. Lots of teenagers want John Blue jobs. Job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. He plays video games, 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 games for eight hours a day. And he gets paid for it. And he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. John is a video, video tester for, for a big video game, game, company. game company. Is it ever boring? Is it, is it ever, ever boring? boring? Never. 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 John almost always wins. John almost always wins. Very good. Now, let's go to the other two stories. I have here. Yeah, Aleida, yes, you have a question or your hand is still up? Uh, my hand is still uh, okay. up, but I don't know why. <laughs> okay, 
Becky Peck. Becky Peck, it says, Becky Peck is a dog walker. Imagine hitting El Salvador con all the Kaisers there. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the mess. Becky Peck. It says Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. So Becky Peck is a dog walker. Could you handle 20 dogs at the same time, people? Very difficult. I don't think so, teacher. <laughs> it is a very complicated situation, right? But Becky Peck does it, right? She walks I, dogs. Uh -huh. I think Aleida killed them, everybody, in, in no moment. <laughs> <laughs> Hay que se vayan. Be happy. Or, okay. Follow your dreams. Be, be happy. Feel free. Be wrong. Yes. Yes. Porque Cucatlán. Hay que se vayan. Run. Be free. Apenas puedo con el mío, Ticha. I cannot even. I cannot even do it with mine, right? Yo ni con el mío puedo. Yeah. No. 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 Kiara is a case, right? Yeah. No, uy, no. <laughs> la quiero ladra y ladra toda la colonia. Qué mm. bonita. It's a beautiful thing. Is his Kara uh, is medium, uh, medium tall. No, oh, she's oh, okay. she's she's kind of big. I mean, when she's in two legs, she's like mm. my size. Oh. I mean, I mean, yo soy okay. yo soy alta. Yo mido como unos setenta y cinco más o menos. Y mm. y parada ella es así como hasta por aquí. She's a big dog. Imagine She's... that I am one, 150. Uh, uh, yeah, and with 20 dogs. Oh they, my God. They will, they will, uh, <laughs> que pasearía, no? Oh yeah. No, I am a very tall lady. Okay. Yo, ya, ya en vivo así. En vivo así como, <laughs> hola teacher. Qué grande, qué, la, qué alta. Oh my God. <laughs> so, Becky Peck. Walks in the park. Okay, ¿qué es eso? Es ah, sorry, José Luis. There you. <laughs> Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class. So he's happy. So Carlos Ruiz is a teacher. And he's very happy because of that. Let's practice about Becky Peck. Okay, here. It says, Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours. Becky Peck, Becky Becky Peck, Peck walks in the park, in the park every, every day, day for many, many, many hours. Rain or shine? Rain, rain or shine. shine. Rain or shine. Okay, the phrase rain or shine is like llueva o o duene. Ya sea que brille el sol o no. She walks in the park. Becky. In Spanish, llueva, truena, relampaguee. Exactly like that, right? Rain or shine. It doesn't matter, right? Voy a llegar. Rain or shine, you say. Ya sea llueva o truena, relampaguee, yo llego. Becky is a professional dog walker. Becky is, is a professional dog, dog, dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. At one time. Do you consider that this could be a good business in El Salvador? Yes. Maybe if they want pay for, pay for it, yes, of course. Yes, maybe they're in Santa Elena, niña. You yeah. could do a lot of money there, walking the dogs. In fact, here in El Salvador, there is a hotel for dogs. Well, I, I, I saw a uh, uh, service, uh, guarderia. Yes. For, for dogs. For dogs and cats. There and is I a think, daycare. Uh -huh. I think, what? <laughs> 
con la, bats. Ya, en Chivo Pets son las well oh, las bendiciones tipo. For, for holidays. For some, holidays. Some people yes. leave her uh, her pets. Her pets in this place in the hotels yes there are i think there are like two hotels in san salvador and there is one in sonsonate as well uh, when you go to the beach that you can leave the the bendy there in the hotel and you can go to the hotels in in the, at the beach imagine yeah i have a friend that she makes clothes for pets and she has a very good business and i'm like Yeah, so uh, I know another person who makes cakes for birthdays. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Cakes for dogs. Cakes. Cookies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it, now it has a cemetery for dogs. Yeah, also. in in Santa Elena. <laughs> yes, and yep. it's too expensive. It's fifty dollars just for for the space. Fifty dollars, depending no, on no. the size of the animal. Ah. Fifty is the small one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I asked for Kiara because she is fourteen years old, right? Ya está viejita, but she's very crazy, right? But I think she's not going to die soon. But I have to be ready. And it was. She is a big dog. Is, she's a. Uh -huh, it's old. it's a hundred a hundred fifty dollars for the cemetery. And I'm like, yeah, and I'm like, I get caroni. <laughs> yeah, Kiara is a, a, it's a boxer dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> but here, boxer. at least here in my, in my neighborhood, it's, I mean, under the houses, it's pure stone. I mean, usted empieza a escarbar y piedra, 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 piedra. There's nothing like, ay, a quien piedra te va a dejar, Kiara. It is, yeah. it is really horrible. Yeah. Yeah, and we don't even have a park or anything. It's like, aquí en las noticias, y esa que no es la teacher. <laughs> Presa por estar escarbando en un parque. So yeah, that's a very successful business. So Carlos is a teacher, right? Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Go ahead. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. He plans he lessons, 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 homework, homework and after school activities, and of course, he teaches. Of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His salary is great. His students like his class, so he's happy. His students like his class, so he's happy. So he is happy. So it is worth, right? Because the students love his class, and that is the best part of everything. So, who do you think? might say these sentences. I have here four sentences. Which person do you think might be the one saying these sentences? The first one says, after I win, I take a break. The actress, the video game tester. The video the, game tester. The video game tester, mm -hmm. right? I don't usually work in the summer. The actress, mm, the actress, or the walk dog. No, she says rain or shine. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> Would be the teacher. The teacher, mm -hmm. right? The teacher, because teachers don't work in the summer. They have the summer break, at least in the United States, right? Because here, mm -hmm. December, Christmas, New Year, everything. <laughs> The restaurant closes late, around 2 a.m. The actress and waitress. The actress and waitress. Very good. After work, my feet and arm are tired. Ah, the waitress. waitress. <laughs> the waitress as well, yes. 
but it is the dog walker oh, for oh, sure right. the waitress yeah she might be very tired at the end of the night yeah it will be like i know my feet and arm are tired yeah it can be the waitress it can be the dog walker it can be the video game tester no because he's not on his feet right he, maybe he's yeah. his hands and his thumbs yeah this is a thumb right like thumbs up the thumbs are tired so yes that might be very common for them to say what is something common about your job? Do you end up tired at the end of the day, people? Yeah. Yes. Do you end, end up very tired? Like, I. Sometimes, but always, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes, you say. Sometimes yeah. I have bad um, pensamiento, thoughts. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but, but, but not in that way, eh? No, no. like I quiero renunciar ahorita mismo, ya mañana no vengo. <laughs> yeah, eh, mañana viva y coleando y justo abriendo. Eh? Yeah. yeah, I always say the same. It's like, ya me voy, me largo, no me van a volver a ver aquí hasta mañana a las seis. I, I always do the same. <laughs> sí, tengo malos pensamientos. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Well, let's continue then. No more questions about the bad, the bad thoughts about the job. It's like, a mi jefe le gusta este video. Aleida. Ay, Aleida, Aleida. Ya va conociendo a Aleida, no, ¿verdad? Teacher, but not in that way. Because y si le doy fuego a este bolso. <laughs> Y si le doy una puteadita al cliente. Uy, no, ¡Niña! ¿Cómo? <laughs> ok, um, let's continue with the class. It was funny. <laughs> eh, vamos a editar Continue, esa parte. Aleida, continue. Vamos a quitar esa parte del video. <laughs> no, eso no sucede. Eso solo sucede en los pensamientos de Aleida. Ok, ING Forms. <clears throat> y volvemos después de publicidad. <laughs> ING forms. Okay. Niña. One. The ING forms of the verbs. Talk about the different actions that are happening at the moment, right? Actions that are happening exactly on the moment. That's why it's called present continuous, right? Present continuous because it's happening exactly at that time. There are different rules for them. For example, uh, the most common one is that you add ING to it, right? Eating, going, reading, right? If the verb finishes in E, you change the E for I and add ING, right? Dancing, writing, writing. If the verbs end in V, in X, in O, or in Y, uh, you don't add anything else, just add the ING form, right? Snowing, fixing, playing, and if the verbs end in IE, you change it for Y, ING, right? Die, dying, lie, lying, tight, tidy. So these are just like spelling rules for uh, the ING forms, right? And for sure, there are some cases on which uh, if you have a consonant, vowel consonant uh, words, you double the consonant and add ing, right? Cut, cutting, run, running, stop, stopping. Uh, if the last syllable is not stressed, right? You have two, uh, you have, when you have two or more syllables and the final syllable is not stressed, do not double the final letter, right? Say happening, open, visiting. If the last syllable is a stress, like for example, in the case of begin, you have to double the, the letter, right? This is one of the most common ones in the mistakes of a spelling. Cuando escribimos beginning, decimos apa, con dos G, con dos N, como, no, no, it's one G, double N, right? Forget, forgetting, submit, submitting. And in some cases we have 
different forms in uh, British English and American English. For example, uh, we have equal, equaling with double L in British and with one L in American English. Traveling with double L in British English and with one L in American English. Control with double N, double L in British and with double L as well in American. So this is the only one that is similar. So, but this happens with the verbs, right? The verbs are the ones that absorb the ing form of the sentences. And for sure, they talk about activities happening at the moment. If I ask you right now, what are you doing right now? I'm staying in class, English class. I am staying in English class. Is that the way you say it? I am? Studying. Okay, I am studying. I am receiving a class. You say, I am receiving a class. I am sitting. I am sitting, right? I am sitting. Mm -hmm. I am? I am listening. 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 I am? I am eating. I am, I am eating. You say, I am talking, I am right? Eating. I am eating. You say, I am writing. Right. Writing. I am reading, right? I am reading. I am writing. I am listening. I am speaking. I am drinking a water glass. I am drinking water, right? Or drinking coffee, right? Okay. I am a... Um, I don't know. I am like seeing the class. I am checking on my classmates. I am. I am yeah. paying attention. Yeah. I am paying attention, right? I am I paying am attention. I am sending a message. I am I sending a message. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't have to be sending WhatsApps in the middle of the class, right? Teacher, I have a question. Is possible yep. say two verbs uh, with ing together? No. For example? No, I don't know. It's, it's only a... A question. Yeah, it's only a question. Depending. Depending. If you are going to make a list of different activities, maybe. Ah, okay. okay. You can say, like, I am listening and writing right now. Yes. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, because if you say, like, I am sitting, singing, <laughs> people will be like, okay. <laughs> I am singing and listening to music. That's possible, right? Um, okay, I am traveling, running. It's not possible because that would be weird, right? I am running, uh, I don't know, to catch the bus, maybe, right? And drinking, running and drinking water. Running and drinking water. <laughs> How can you be running and drinking water? Come on. Just be running and <laughs> listening to Cooking music. and watching the la receta. Okay, cooking and reading the recipe. Yes, very good, right? Cooking and reading the recipe. And well, well, Nelson mentioned another one. Uh huh. Which one? Which one? Nelson? Which was your uh, example? El 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 oh, hello. Uh, 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 for example, run running. And listening to music. Running and listening to music. Yes, I mean, that's that's very common, right? I am running and listening to music, right? Good. Running and fighting with the earphone, right? Va, va corriendo y peleando con el audífono, right? <laughs> que se le cae y se le sale. So you have to put it back. Me han contado que así pasa. It happens. <laughs> it happens a lot. So uh, in the case of the ING forms, let me just open my board. In the case of the ING forms, uh, it is very common, right? And it is necessary to use the verb to be, right? I was giving you a little example the other day and you gave me examples of sentences that you say, for example, um, he is cooking dinner for uh, his family, right? He is cooking dinner for his family. And in this case, you have an action that is happening right now. Important things that you have in the sentence, for example, you have the subject, you have the verb to be according to the subject, right? 
you have here the ing form of the verb and the complement that it's always necessary okay so uh, the verb to be that you are going to use with the present continuous has to be according to the subject that you are talking about if you have for example they you are going to say they are cleaning the room for example right they are cleaning the room if you say for example my father what verb to be are you going to use it my, my father is uh, playing with the dog okay my father is playing with the dog right and in that case uh, you have uh, he is as a subject right but if i say the the children yeah. all the children are working in class right and in this case you have a plural form of the verb and you have the verb to be as are if you want to make a sentence negative you are going to say here after the verb to be you are going to use not so you say no teacher the children are not working in class they are not cleaning the room my father is not playing with the dog right so here you are going to add the word not to make it negative right and to make a question to make a question is something simple just to take the verb to be here you are going to take the verb to be to the beginning of the sentence right so in this case i i erase everything Fuck. so it says they are cleaning the room if you take the verb to be to the beginning of the sentence you are going to have a question and you say are they cleaning the room yes they are no they aren't right and you have the forms of the questions how would you make this one a question people press the verb be at the beginning uh -huh, you put the verb be my at the beginning playing with the dog is my father playing with the dog what about the, the next one are all the children working, working in, class? in class? Are all the children working in class, right? And you have a sentence with the verb to be in the ing form, in the question form. Simple as that, okay? Hemos dado toda una clase de gramática en tres minutos. In a very, very simple way, right? En el bachillerato hubiera sido cinco meses. And there you go. That's the form of the present continuous, right? The present continuous form in uh, sentences and questions. I will call the attendance, my dear students, before I forget. And remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Chan, chan, chan. Then I can go with the exercises all at once. De ahí nos vamos. De un solo los ejercicios. Okay. Let's see. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Sofía Benítez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Carlos Eduardo. ¿Dónde estés? Okay, <laughs> se perdió. Okay, there you go. Uh, I, Carlos is there, right? I don't know what he's doing, but he's there. Cesar Romero Amaya. Thank you. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Thank you. Present. E Eric Jose Hernandez Campos. Present teacher. Hernan Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Horacio José Menéndez Hernández. Present teacher. José Luis Ramos Ramos. 
Yeah, poor Jose Luis. Yeah, he's working. Thank you, Jose Luis. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Juan Francisco. Thank you. Juan Francisco is there. I can see you. Sé que me escuchas, Juan Francisco. The next one. Let's continue. Eh, Carla Guadalupe Flores de Jiménez. Hi, teacher. Nelson Alberto Pérez. Per, per, Peraza. I'm Mejía. Here. Okay, it's Peraza, right? Yes. Pérez. Come on. Ya, pues ya me voy. No. <laughs> it's not here, entonces. Peraza. Peraza. Peraza, con Z, vea. Yes. Okay, Paola Elena Linares de Lazo. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Present teacher. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Raúl Ernesto González. I'm here. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Jasmine Elizabeth Hernández Díaz. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Mr. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Where are you? Hey. Magdiel. Ah, ah, Magdiel. Se perdió. Okay. Good. He was here. I don't know where he where he is now, but he was just here. Good. So thank you very much for uh, answering the attendance, my dear class. Hey, for the first time, I have all my students. For the first time, I don't have any missing ones. Just... Hurra! Yeah! Punto. Punto para todos. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Punto para todos. That was so nice. Yay! Magdiel, you are point, back. No. Okay, I will change the point then. Let me give you another point. Uh, minutes. <laughs> extra minutes in class. Okay, estrellita para ti. There you go. Good, 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 good. Thank you, Magdiel. You are back. Ya no despacharon las pupusas, Magdiel. Nos seguimos esperando. No, todavía seguimos esperando. You will see. Okay, here we go. We were talking about this one. Uh, this present continuous is not really complicated, right? The only thing that you have to be very careful is not to mix it up, right? Not to mix it up with uh, different forms of verbs. And here we have a little conversation. What's going on in the picture, people? What is he doing? What is he doing on the picture? He's cooking. He's I'm cooking. Pizza. He's <laughs> cooking pizza, right? He's cooking pizza. And I'm what about the mother? Pizza. What is the mother doing? He's trying to cook. He's, He's trying angry. to cook. Okay, <laughs> the mother is angry. How do you call when your mother is telling you things? She is lecturing. Oh, lecturing. Lecture. Lecturing is different from punishing. Punishing is includes the belt, the chancla, the chilillo, and all this, right? That's punishing. But lecturing is just like na 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 na. I told you, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Lecturing. Yeah. Yes, lecturing is just like verbal, verbal. In El Salvador, it, it's a mixture, right? Every two lectures, there is a punishment, <laughs> right? Every two words, there is a hit, right? It's a very thing. I mean, we are very, we are very uh, folkloric here. That's very, that's very nice, very colorful of our country. Lecturing, right? teacher, lecturing huh? is like a uh, regaño. Regaño verbal, nada más. It doesn't include any hitting, right? Eh, regaño, entiendo yo que no incluye... El bonus. Yeah. No, aquí, aquí eh, le ponemos. The, 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 punish. the punishment, the, yes. 
the punishment the includes the bonus the, the and, and all the beautiful moments of of, of mm -hmm. the mothers in, in parenting El Salvador right and please don't laugh in the middle of the lecturing aunque a su mamá se le trabe la lengua no se ría please <laughs> please don't do it because the, the punishment is going to be worse <laughs> right <laughs> yeah yeah, I, 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 I used to do that a lot. It's like, ¿qué dijiste? <laughs> My mother used to get very angry with me. She still does it, right? Yeah, todavía hoy. A mis bellos, 38 años, todavía me regla. <laughs> yeah, when she gets <laughs> angry. So, hi, mom. Uh -huh. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza? Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat, <laughs> right? In the, in, in the, at the beginning, it was like, what are you doing? What is all that, all that noise? Ah, what's going on? I'm making pizza. Mmm, pizza. Interesting. Two o'clock in the morning. It. Save it for the pizza. <laughs> Save it for me, right? Do you ever get really hungry in the middle of the night, people? Um, yes. Yes. Currently no, but when I was a child, yes. But I I I suffered this 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 situation. situation. Really? Yes, because my mother don't like it. Uh, uh -huh. I I cooking in the middle of the night. She thinks he's a stranger. <laughs> yeah, he will be like, what are you doing? Uh, Aleida said something very curious. During the pandemic, it happened a lot. I think it because we lost the sense of time. Durante la pandemia, durante el encierro y la cuarentena, creo que todos perdimos la sensación del tiempo, la hora, el espacio, la comida. So it was like, ¿qué hora es? I don't know. Let's, let's eat. And we used to sleep during the day and to be awake during the night. So it was a really crazy situation, right? I remember that I was, I was doing all my pastry inventions at night, right? Haciendo pan francés, pan dulce, quesadilla. Teacher, uh -huh. I am working in the pandemic. You were working. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, I was working too, but here in my house. I was how teaching you, here. You doing? Rafael, how are you doing when you go out? Uh huh. Uh, no, but as he was working in the were you working in the in the my work in my work in, in Comalapa. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, that didn't stop nah. that much. Give me the edition. This is for me. The, the I, I imagine that Ellen Nielsen was also working as well. What a crazy thing it was. Yeah. Cuando tenían a todos los deportados, los de cuarentena. It was so crazy. I imagine. I know. No, I was in my house teaching, improving, gardening, and all these things, right? Creyendo que tuve COVID mental unas 80 veces. That was terrible. So, Practice with me, my dear class. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi mom. mom. What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing? What are you doing? Steve? I'm, doing Steve. Yeah, Steve. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Why are, Why are you cooking now? now? Cooking now. Cooking now. It's cooking now. 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 Well, I'm really hungry. Well, 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 I'm really hungry. Really hungry. What are you making? What are you making? What are you making? Pizza. Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now pizza. I'm getting hungry. Pizza. I'm getting hungry. Mm, pizza. Let's eat. I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Okay, now Nelson is Steve. And Aleida, you are the mother. Go ahead. Me va a regañar. Go ahead. Action. Okay. 
Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay, let's eat. Yeah. Very good job. Very good job. Reactions for mom and Steve. Very good. Paola and Antonio, go ahead. I do. You are Yo. the mom. Yes. No, okay. you are a Steve. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I am cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good job. Very good job. Ah, Paola. Huh? Ya está a mí me dio miedo. Paola. Y le puso un tono picante ahí. Ya, yeah, de, de las mamás, de las mamás, de cuidado. Me, me gusta, Estaba en Paola. mi papel. That's, I love it. I love it, Paola. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Let's see, eh, Blanca Alejandra and Carlos Eduardo, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, mom. Uh, what are you doing, Steve? Uh, I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. And yeah. well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Yeah. Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good job. Very nice. Excellent job. Excellent job. You see, Carlos has a su hermana, so no hay. La, la, la hermanita. Okay, good. Let's see. We are going to have another mom. Carla and Magdiel. Go ahead. Hi, mom. What are, what are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Uy. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now, I, now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Very good job. Very good job. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat, you say. Sorry, and, teacher. I yes? was... I had a, I had problem with the internet. I don't worry. We, we, say... we had you. Yeah. No, I, I was making fun. I was making fun. Yo lo estaba fregando que si había que había vuelto con las pupusas. Okay. Que si ya le habían resuelto ahí el problema. No, I was I was kidding. No, I, but I mark your attendance because I knew it that you were here. Thank you. Andrea Sofia and Ellen Nielsen, go ahead. Okay. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? Uh, I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I am getting hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Very good. Very good job. Right, huh? Andrea is an, the, one of these very serious mothers. Mm -hmm. Jasmine Hernandez. And let me see. Hernan Antonio. Go ahead. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steven? I am cooking. We are you cooking now? Uh, it's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you mark? You mocking? Making. Making. Pizza. 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 Mm, pizza. Now I. I'm getting. Getting hungry, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Very good. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Arnon. Okay. 
uh, here, for example, let me just mark it right here. Uh, there is another word that it's called hangry. Do you know what's the meaning of hangry? Hangry. 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 It's a build-up word. Esta palabra no es netamente del idioma, sino que la ha armado la gente con sus modismos y sus nuevas palabras. And hangry is when you are angry because you are hungry. Hungry. Hangry. You say, I am very hangry. It, it is when you get angry because you are hungry. Después de comer, todo es paz y tranquilidad. Right? So it's hangry. You say, I'm getting hungry. It's like you, you want to eat, right? But in some cases, and it is very common with the ladies and with the men as well, right? Así que chicos, cuando vean ahí a su novia, a su esposa, enojada, aliméntela primero. Maybe she's just hungry. <clears throat> yeah. Give it's her a, a, a chocolate or something to eat. No le pregunte qué quiere comer o dónde. Just give her some food. Right? Te traje esto, mira, mi amor. Ah, so nice, right? Because maybe she's just hungry, right? No era yo, era el hambre, you say. So, hungry is when you are hungry and angry. And hungry is when you are just some, the one, when you just need something to eat, right? Hungry and hungry. Hungry, it's a different thing. This is an invented word, right? Es una palabra inventada por el mundo. It's hungry. So, también los chicos se enojan cuando tienen hambre. Así que, señoras del mundo, si su esposo está enojado, aliméntelo primero. And then you will see. Aliméntelo, dele algo ahí de, no sé, de comer o de beber. And then you will fix the situation. After this commercial of how to handle with the everyday life, I am going to go with a different type of conversation, right? We had a very informal conversation there. And here we have a little bit more formal uh, job style conversation. And here we have two people. We have Pedro and Max, right? Very Salvadorian words. Pedro and Max. And it says, good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Ah, Pedro Rijet. Look at the last name, right? No es Pedro Perez, right? Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? Yes, indeed. Promote him and give him a good salary. So here we have an interaction between human resources and for sure, Mr. Pedro Rijet. Go with me. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Is Pedro, Pedro G. Reject. But as we are not Pedro Reject, we are going to use our names, right? Good morning. This is Natalie de Flores. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay. Good morning. Take two. Good morning. This is Miss Carla Flores. Very good. Good morning, uh, Mrs. Nati. This is Max from Human Resources. How can I help you? Good morning, Mr. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? Okay, okay. Uh, what kind of information do you need? Do you need? We are checking on some references. 
We are we shaking are out shaking some, on some preferences. 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 We are planning to promote him as a manager. We are, we planning, are planning to promote him as a manager. As a manager. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez does not have any warnings, and he, the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. Mr. Sanchez does not have any I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? I see. I see. I see. Do you consider you consider he has what he has Managerial position, right? Yeah. Indeed. 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 He's very cheap. <laughs> Indeed, he's a very good worker. He's a very good person. He he's responsible, and he is a, a team player. He's a leader, right? He has everything he needs for the position, right? At the end, you are going to give some good feedback about Mr. Sanchez. But for sure here, we don't have any Mr. Sanchez, right? We don't have any Mauricio Sanchez. And you are going to be promoting one member from your class, okay? You are going to uh, remake this conversation. No la van a escribir ni nada. You just have to remake it. Ya lo voy a enviar a trabajar. You are going to remake this conversation, but you are going to do it promoting one person from the class. Okay, you have to choose any person. Imagine that I am going to do this conversation with Evelyn, right? Natalie and Evelyn are going to do the conversation. And it says, <clears throat> I will be the first one. Good morning, this is Evelyn Monterrosa. Good morning, Mrs. Evelyn. This is Natalie from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Natty. Uh, I would like to have more information about uh, Nelson Alberto. Hmm. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Hmm. Mr. Peraza does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Uh, do you consider he has what it is required at a managerial position? For sure he has what it is required. He's a very good person. He's a team leader. And for sure, he loves what he does. I consider that he will be a very good manager. Thank you very much, Nati. All your feedback is going to be very important for us. Thank you for attending my call. Thank you. Good morning. Bye. Cling. That's what you are going to do. <laughs> nice. Ah, yeah, gracias. Ese año ahí en la escuela de, you de are actuación. An actress. Yeah, just for the <laughs> Good. Sí. Ese año en la escuela de actuación valió la pena. Good. <laughs> I am very crazy, right? Yeah, mi mamá me mantenía ocupa. Don't worry. So that's what you're going to do with your partner, right? You are going to be discussing about someone and you are going to promote one person from the class. Right now, I promoted Nelson Alberto, but you have to choose a different person, okay? So uh, you have the manual, but you can screenshot the conversation. Screenshot the conversation and take it with you. You are going to use the same information. If you are talking about a person that it's a girl, you have to change he for she, right? That is the only thing that you need to change. And for sure, at the end, you have to invent the last part of the conversation, right? You have to add information about the person and for sure you are going to recommend. If you consider that the person doesn't have the material for a managerial position, you can also say it, right? It's like, nah, he's not going to be a good manager. He's very angry. He's going to be fighting with the employees. Don't do it. No, promote me. <laughs> Sell yourself. 
Okay, so I am going to uh, send you to work in groups. I am just going to have one group of three because, uh, and in that case, two of you can participate or you can practice and two of you uh, can participate and the other one can be the promoted, right? We only have one group of three. Okay, there you have your groups and go and create your conversation, my dear class. There you go. There you go. Okay, Jasmine, did you receive my invitation for the groups? Magdiel, lo voy a volver a mandar al grupo. Ok, teacher. There you go. Ok, Jasmine, eh, ¿no le ha caído mi invitación para los grupos? Hello. Jasmine. Hola, José Luis. Puedes trabajar ahorita. Te puedo mandar a un compañero. Yes, se me acabo de llegar. Ah, ok, perfect. Es que tengo una solicitud. Bueno, bueno. Sí, llegando. Ok, perfecto. Es que tengo un compañero solito. Ya vuelvo, ya vuelvo. Me vale, me vale. Help you. Hi, Magdiel. I would like to have more information about Wilbert Perez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some references 
we are planning to promote him as a manager. Um, Mr. Mr. Perez does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at the manager at the manager? Yes, of course. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Reyes. Good morning, Mr. Reyes. This is this is Max from HR. How I can how I can help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez does not have any warning. And the feedback we have about him from this supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider uh, he, he has what is required at a manager position? Do you can do you consider he has what it is required? You can say yes. yes, he does, he is very responsible, organized, and everything. So you have to give me reasons why he is he is good for a managerial position. Uh, right? Add yes. something at the end. Okay. Yes. Yes, he is good. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh-huh. And yeah, then you I give do. me the reasons why. Uh, okay. Promote. Promote. Okay. Si quiere entonces. Okay. Just starter. Okay. Good morning. This is Elenilson Aparicio. Uh, good morning, Mr. Elenilson. Uh, this is Raul from HR. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Raul. Uh, I would like to have more information about Alex Serna. Okay. Uh, and what kind of information do you have? Do you need? Uh, well, we are checking on some reference. Uh, we are planning to promote him as a manager. Uh, Mr. Serna does not have any warning and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. 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 <laughs> from <laughs> HR. No, right? From human resources, you say. H That's what I'm saying. <laughs> from HR. <laughs> HR, remember the ER, Sala de Emergencia. That is HR. 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 Or, or human or resources, HR right? Or that human it's, resources. That it's easier. And, uh, it's supervisor, right? It's supervisor, uh-huh. Supervisor and responsible. 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 Good, responsible. Responsible. Okay. responsible. Continue, continue. Okay. Ability to solve problems. Good. Problem, problem solving abilities. Okay. Problem <laughs> okay. solving. Um, problem solving abilities. Right. Do you spell solving? Solving. Solving, solving is exactly oh. as you listen to it, as solving. exactly solving. as in Spanish. Solving. Mm -hmm. Problem solving abilities. abilities. Solving. Solving 
solving. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. No, 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 no. Problem solving abilities. I send it to you on the chat. Ahí se los puse en el chat. Okay. Problem solving abilities. <laughs> Um, problem. <laughs> problem solving abilities. Continue. I will go and check the next group. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required a manager position? Indeed, it's a very honest teacher, teacher, teacher. Hello, hello. Eh, ¿Cómo puedo decir? Él, de, es una persona íntegra. ¿Cómo puedo decir? He's, a, he's an integral person. Integral, tal cual. Yeah, integral. Tenía la duda. <laughs> no, he's an integral person. Integral person. Oh, okay. Yes. Persona integral. Ah, pues ahí está. Yeah, he's an integral person. Persona integral. Okay, ya, comencemos. <laughs> Those are one of, one of these things that you say like, ah, it's the same. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Go go ahead. Okay. Again. Yeah, you can go. I can listen to you. Go Good morning. This is Mr. Cesar Maya. Good morning, Mr. Amaya. This is Nelson from from Human Resource. How can I help you? Hi Nelson. I would like to have more information about Raul Gonzalez. Okay. What kind of information do you need? Uh, we are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Gonzalez doesn't have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he, he has why it is required a manager position? Indeed, he's a very integral person. Thanks. Thank you for your time and I need information. You're welcome. I'm here for serve you. Okay, I am here to help you, you say. Ah, I am here está. to help you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> quería decir para servirle, pero... okay, you can say I am here. Uh, it is it is normal to think about like uh, like to serve you, right? But you can say at your service, right? At your service is, eh, quedo, quedo, o sea, a su servicio, right? I am at your service, you can say. Ah. At your service is like, que estoy para servirle. Or if you say, uh, you can say, uh, like, my pleasure, I am here to help you, right? Estoy aquí para ayudarle, apoyarle en lo que necesite, right? So you can use any of the two forms. And the next one, when uh, Cesar says, do you consider, do you consider he has, right? Yeah. Do you uh, consider, right? That's the word. And let me consider. see, do you consider he has what it is required? Do you consider, do you, do you consider he has what it is required? A At a managerial. managerial position. And say, indeed, he is a very integral person, right? He is responsible and whatever other uh, adjective that you want to add. And you can say, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Don't say thank you. Okay. It's thank you very much. And you say, at your service. Okay. At your service. At your service is para servirle. Okay. Or I am here to help you. Okay. It sounds good. And you just close it like that. At your service, you say. Para Only servir. at your service. At your service. Yeah. Ah. Just like that. Yeah, así, se, así se cierra la llamada. It's like, don't worry. At your service. It's like, para servirle. Ah. Okay. Thank so, you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep on practicing. I will check on the next group. Okay. Hello. Hola, teacher. Hola, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Questions? You are recreating the conversation. Yes. You say, good morning. This is Miss Andrea Benitez. This is Miss Andrea Benitez. Okay. Good morning, Miss Benitez. How can I help you? I would like to have more information about Beatriz Gonzalez. 
What kind of information do you need? Did you did you copy the I mean did you get the conversation from the from the image? No. Agarraron la conversación que teníamos proyectada. Sí, sí. Okay, so good. You can do it there. Okay, I am going to change Jasmine here. Okay, continue working, but I think you don't need to write everything again. Si quieren, no lo copien todo de nuevo, solo vayan como cambiando las, las partes de, las, de los nombres y la persona a la que van a promover. So you don't have to write everything again. But if you want to do it, it's okay, right? What okay. kind of information do you need? Uh -huh. And, and then what is the next part? It says, uh, we are checking on some references. We are planning to promote her as a manager. Okay. And um, no importa que vaya lo mismo. No, it's okay. It's okay. You can use the same information. You can use the same, uh... the same information. Yeah, but it, it is okay. In that case, you say, do you, uh, okay, we are checking on some references. We are planning to promote her as a manager. Como tiene a Beatriz, right? It's a girl. So you say to promote her. And in this case, you say, uh, Mrs. Miss Beatriz does not have any warnings. And the feedback we have about her from her supervisor is that she is responsible. I see. Do you consider she has what it is required at a managerial position? Uh, yes, she is very good, you can say. You can, if you want to make it different, it's okay. Si la quieren hacer nueva, está bien. Excellent. For oh. me, it's even better, right? Okay. Continue working. Okay. Sigan trabajando. Okay, let me see. Here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we practice. Can... Uh -huh. Yes, we practice around uh, 10 times. Uh -huh. Let's see. Let's listen. Yes. Vamos a ver. Yes. Uh, we finished it. Uh -huh. A ver, yes. action. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Carlos, hombre. <laughs> go, Carlito. Of Glenelson. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Carlos Torres. Good morning. Eh, que, que he puesto la, la letra bien pequeña y no logro verla. Ok. Ajá. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Carlos. This is Rafael from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Rafael. I would like to have more information about Edmilson Sanchez. Ok. What kind of information do you need? We are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Um, Mr. Sanchez does not have any awareness. And the feedback we have about him, about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at a money, money, managerial position? <laughs> managerial position. <laughs> he, he is a very... Uh, responsible and very smart. This is a difficult word. <laughs> Managerial. <laughs> Managerial. We have practiced like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, uh, the, the, the situation is I was the first. <laughs> that you were the first. <laughs> I, I will be a, a Peter. Okay, uh, okay. okay yes, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Para que vea. You change <laughs> the, the rules. Eh, ya ven. <laughs> <laughs> she don't believe us. 
Yeah, I, I, think, I have practiced like 10 times. Man, 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 managerial. Siempre no pasa. Siempre no sucede lo mismo, right? At a managerial position. It's okay. So you say, indeed, he is very responsible. He's a very good person and everything. Remember to close the call, right? Tienen que cerrar la llamada. So like, okay, yeah. thank you very much. At your service. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Have a good day. So remember to close the call. Practice okay. in the normal way. <laughs> and I will come back in a second, okay? Ya vuelvo. Okay. Hola, Jasmine. La he estado mandando al grupo. No le sale mi invitación. Hola, Jasmine. Hola, teacher. La he estado mandando al grupo. Siempre se me sale. ¿Será que no le, no le, no le carga la invitación? Este solo me dice... este uniéndose al grupo y ahí está y no nunca me parece no avanza ok entonces ya ahorita vamos a regresar de los de los grupos de trabajo eh, para las conversaciones aquí ok, okay la voy a la voy a dejar aquí un, un ratitito para que para traerme a todos los demás ok ya vengo ok teacher pura entonces entre más se, se practique es más fácil que se le vaya quedando esa palabra y después no la va a pensar para decirla, sino que solo la va a decir, así como, como cuando está hablando en español. Sí, Muy bueno, chulo. Sí se puede. Manager. Ah. <laughs> yes. Te van a quitar el trabajo, teacher. Yeah, I can see. Huh? Like... No, no, no. I can see, I can see. <laughs> no, teacher, because we were practicing uh, the... Um, Paola, Pedro, sometimes, and I was Max. Okay. And in the other uh, side, uh, sometimes I am Pedro and Paola was Max. Okay. But we were talking about that uh, sometimes we are afraid about the pronunciation and we don't uh, be the, the paragraph, the larger, largest paragraph. Because we don't want to talk a lot of because we are afraid yeah. of the pronunciation. <laughs> it happens, it happens. But in some cases, the problem is that in many other classes, you are not eh, asked to do these things, right? Hay muchas clases en las que ni siquiera le piden, mire, practique, hágalo, hoy hágalo usted, cámbiele, sino que solo, ah, este es, that's it, next thing, right? Y pasamos, entonces es como, ah. Te tuve miedo, pero como no me tocó hacer nada, so no problem, right? So I, I really like to push you a little bit on your out of your comfort zone. Por eso ahí los ando sacando de su zona de confort. Sending audios, working, doing homework, participating, <laughs> dramatizing. So it is a good way to learn the language. So you have practice already, and we're going to go back to the main session. Okay, okay. let's go back okay. to the let's go. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, my dear class. Well, let's work then. But I need you to get an object, please. Get an object that you have next to you. I need you to get one object. Get one object that you have next to you. Any object. Cualquier objeto que tengan ahí cerca, agárrenlo. Any object. <laughs> Any object. No, but I, I, it's some, it has to be something. Okay, Nelson, that's good. 
Yeah, you have it. <laughs> Carlo Eduardo, good. Okay, there you have, that's good, that's good. What is your object? I need to see it. I need to see your object. Good, <laughs> Paola, that's beautiful. Okay, keep the object. Eso sí, lo único que no lo pueden cambiar. Okay, no lo pueden cambiar. That's your object, okay? That's your object. Horacio, what is your object? Carlita, Blanca, Cesar, Andrea. My wallet. Your wallet, okay. Muéstrenmelo, porfa. Si lo tienen por ahí, muéstrenmelo. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. How can I say almohada in English? Pillow. That's your pillow. Okay. Pillow. Ese, pillow. Thank you. Teacher, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good, good. How, Ese es. No how can I say taza, teacher? Caja. Box. Taza. Ah, taza. taza. Cup. Cup. Okay. Ese es su objeto y no lo pueden cambiar. I have a, uh, this. <laughs> La quita. Okay. Me está apagada, vea. <laughs> Está apagada la raqueta. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. But I don't know how can I say can I tell this object? Uh, that, well, that's a that's a mosquito a mosquito. Uh, mosquito what uh, the mosquito killer, the mosquito racket. That's your object. Okay. The object that you have there it's going to be your telephone. Okay. I have mine. <laughs> <laughs> The object that you have is going to be your telephone because you are going to be in a phone call, okay? Yo no sé cómo va a hacer Paola con su cuchara, but that's your telephone, okay? This is, uh, I have my telephone. I have one too. <laughs> yeah. No, pero usted cogió su raqueta, so you will be with the raqueta. Okay, um... Ah, uh, this is Natalie de Flores from Human Resources, okay? Your, your object is your phone, okay? Es objeto de su teléfono. What? <laughs> no sé. Nelson with the pillow, right? Hi, this is Nelson from Human Resources. Hernán con su salero. That's your <laughs> teléfono. <laughs> Lindo sus teléfonos, me encantan. Okay, Rafael Alexander, go ahead. The 10 times with Carlos. <laughs> ¿Dónde está su taza, Carlos? <laughs> Okay. One, two, three. I need the, the yes, the... I need the answer. Um, contesta? Va a sonar el teléfono y nadie contesta. Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Rafael Cerda. Uh, good morning, Mr. Rafael. This is Max. This is Rafael Antonio from uh, of Humans. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Rafael. I would like to have more information about Elenilson del Cid. Okay. What kind of information what? do you need? Uh, we are checking on some reference. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mrs. Nilsson does know how any work worrying and the feedback we have about him from his super supervisor is that he is responsibility. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required, a managerial position? Yes. He is a responsibility in putting for the time, the working. Oh, thank you, Rafael. Your, your, your information is, is very important for, to me. Okay, have, have a nice day. day. Very good job. <laughs> hey, reactions for your friend, people. Rafael Salvando el team, right? very good job. You did a very nice job. Oh, Rafael. Uh, yay. <laughs> Uh, in a uh, work, uh -huh. uh, I I was have a, a work. We are uh, we are three Rafaels. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, and and one Rafael is a supervisor. One Rafael is a maintenance, and one Rafael is a uh, transportista, a chauffeur, a, 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 a driver. driver. My and, in my and, in my work, two Rafael, I am in my. My, my compañero, 
my partner, my partner, my, my, partner. my yeah. when, yes. when the the Rafael driver uh, arrive uh, to the lab uh, and ask me, where is Rafael? I don't know Rafael. Uh, maybe it's, uh, you telling <laughs> in the office. Español? Hola Rafael, ¿ha visto a Rafael? No Rafael, pero posiblemente este allá. Busca a Rafael en and the people se nos quedaba viendo así como which which Rafael aquí vea thank you my Rafaels okay so huh who's next no he contesta ya va la emitir okay okay go ahead Raúl ya levantó la mano conteste Raúl Raúl y Aleida okay y su y su teléfono Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh -huh. uh, good morning. This is Raul Gonzalez. Good morning, Mr. Uh, Raul. This is Aleida from Human Resource. How can I help you? Uh, hi, Aleida. I would like to have more information about uh, Alexerna. Okay, what kind of information do you want, you need? Uh, we are checking some of reference and we are planning to promote him as a manager. Oh, Mr. Serna, it does not have warnings. Uh, the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is uh, very organized and responsible. Okay, I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at a man managerial? Managerial. <laughs> of course, um, we think that he is a good leader and proactive person. He is very organized and uh, she's good taking decision and giving resolutions. Okay, thank you for taking my call. See you. <laughs> okay, see you. Have a nice day. Excellent Bye. job. Very good reactions <laughs> for the team. People, very nice. Very nice. You did a very good job. Let's see. The last phone call. Who's going to answer? Ay, aquí en esta oficina nadie contesta, oh my God. Mi teacher. Ok, Magdiel en Paola, go ahead. And then José Luis. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good, mo good morning, this is Miss Paola Linares. Good morning, Miss Paola, Miss Linares. This is Magdiel García from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Magdiel. I would like to have more information about Carla Flores. Okay. What kind of information do you need? We are checking one some reference. We are planning to promote her as a manager. Ms. Flores doesn't not does not have uh, any warning. And the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that she is responsible. I see. Do you consider he ha she has what is okay, wait a minute. Required? Required at a managerial position? Indeed. She is a good person. Thank you for the reference. Have a nice day. It's pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you. No Thank problem. you very much. Very good job. Good job. Reactions for your friends. Reactions, yeah. please. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> Jose Luis is going to answer the final call. Hello. <clears throat> Esta oficina nadie contesta, niña. Mi teacher. Okay, José Luis. Blanca is it's with you. 
Okay. Sorry. Give me a moment. <laughs> Ahorita le transfiero, permítame. Action. Hello. Could you see me? Yes, yes. with you, Raquel. Yes. Okay. I can see. <laughs> Good morning. This is Miss Alejandra Portillo. Good morning, Mr. Blanca. Uh, let me see. This is Jose Luis from Human Resources. How can I help you? Hi, Jose Luis. I would like to save more information about Wilbert Perez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? We are checking on some preferences. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Okay, Mr. Wilmer doesn't have any warning and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is it? What is, what is, is required as a managerial position? Sure, he, ha he has what is required for the position because he is, he is so responsible and he has the knowledge for the position. Okay, thank you, Jose Luis, for the information. Have a nice, great, a nice day. Okay, you're welcome. Have a great day. Thank you very much. No se va a poner esa regla en la oreja. Thank you very much. Reactions for the team. El team taza raqueta. Very good job. You did a good job. And last but not least, Nelson and Cesar. Hello? Hello? Monster Sync, un momento. Go ahead. Good morning. Cesar. This is Cesar Amaya. Good morning, Mr. Amaya. This is Nelson from Human Resource. How can I help you? Hi, Nelson. I would like to have more information about uh, Paul Gonzalez. Okay, what kind of information do you need? Uh, we are checking on some reference. Uh, we are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Gonzalez does not have any warnings and the feedback we have about him from his supervisor is that he is responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what is required at money position? Indeed, he is a very integral person. Okay. Thank you very much for your information. At your service. Bye. 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 Thank you. Reactions for the last time. Very good job, my dear class. Excellent. Thank you very much for calling English Operativo. You can go now. Thank you. Excellent. I love your phones, right? Yo creo que sus teléfonos fueron la mejor parte de toda la conversación. Well, my dear students, it was such a great pleasure to serve you tonight. I am going to call the attendance for the last time. And when you listen to your name, you can go to sleep, okay? And today, our one-on-one -on -one is on Nelson. So please, we're going to stay for the last minutes in the class. So don't, don't take the pillow because you will fall asleep, okay? <laughs> I will call the attendance. When you listen to your name, you can uh, go to bed, okay? So I am going to call out Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Go to the bed, the bed right now. Have a good night, Have everybody. a good night. Have a beautiful night. Very good. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh my God. Ay. I close it, sorry. Ay. Commercial. No los quiero mandar a dormir. Andrea Sofía. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. You can go to sleep. Yes. Let's continue here. Blanca Alejandra Portillo. Present, teacher. Have a beautiful night. Carlos Eduardo Thank Torres. You. Here. Have a good night. Good night. Teachers. Bye bye. César Amaya. Present, teacher. You can go to sleep. Very good. Ellen Nilsson Aparicio. Good night. Present teacher, have Thank a good you. one. Thank you. Have a good night. Eric Jose. Present teacher, good have night. Have a beautiful night. Hernan Antonio. Present teacher. Have a good night. Horacio good night. Jose. 
Present, teacher. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, Jose Thank Luis you. Ramos. Thank you, teacher. Present, teacher. Have a good night. Juan good Francisco night. Salmeron. It's right there. But have a good night, Juan Francisco. Carla Flores. Go to the way, teacher. Good okay, night. Okay, have a good night. Nelson Alberto. Here, have a good night. <laughs> no, you are staying. <laughs> Let's see, Paola Elena. Present teacher. Have a good night, Rafael Alexander. You too, good night. Present teacher. Have a beautiful night, Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Have a good night, Rafael, Raul Ernesto. Raul. I'm here, teacher. Have a beautiful night, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Good Have night. a good night, Jasmine Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Have a beautiful night. And Magdia Lesau. Present teacher. Have, Have a, a beautiful night. night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. So, Juan Francisco, sorry, I am going to send you to the uh, wait. Sala de espera. Okay. Nelson, thank you very much for staying in these short minutes, right? We are going to stay like for eight minutes. How are you, Nelson? How have you felt in classes? Mm, I'm, I'm very well. ¿Cómo se ha sentido en las clases? ¿Qué le parecen? ¿Cómo, cómo ha estado su desarrollo? Muy bien. Okay. Muy bien. He, he recordado mucho. La verdad es que lo había desfasado o descontinuado. Quizás sería la palabra correcta. Mm -hmm. Mucho. Igual estaba el, el miedo a otra vez a empezar a hablar. Y sí se me ha olvidado mucho, pero en cuanto a... Quizás a... ¿Qué podría decir? Tiempos. No, al ver medio lo recuerdo. Pero quizás <coughs> yo antes improvisaba mucho. Uh -huh. Porque me tenía confianza y como que he perdido eso. Ok, ¿hace cuánto dejó de estudiar? Híjole, no me acuerdo. I can't remember. Uh -huh. It's because, for example, in the case of the English languages, in any other language, eh, after six months without studying, everything starts like declining. For example, if you leave six months without doing or without practicing, then the language just starts forgetting and forgetting yeah. and forgetting. So that's that's why I ask you how long. Uh, I mean, how long has it been since you mm, stopped studying? Maybe four years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a lot of time. Right? <laughs> Yo creo que me va a decir un mejo no. But four years, yeah. Uh, how long did you study? Hasta qué nivel había estudiado? Hace cuatro años. Eh, en español, en inglés. It is okay. En Spanglish. En Spanglish. I started in. Uh -huh. uh, no, I started uh -huh. in the CNUS. Ajá. Uh -huh. And I did. Um, I can't remember how many models. But you were what, like intermediate or advanced? No, en intermedio me quedé. Uh -huh. Sí, en intermedio me quedé. So you started like what, like for a year or more? Quizás un año, uh -huh. maybe. Yeah, so it is good that you are taking everything back, that you started like remembering everything. English is a matter of practicing. Yes. And if you want to remember and to undust, right, como desempolvar, right, all your knowledge, mm -hmm. you have to take it as an everyday practice, included in everything that you do in your uh, everyday activities. If you listen to music, if you like to read, if you like movies, if you like series, transform everything into English, because that it's going to be the only way for you to advance again to the level that you used to have. Because if you said that you had confidence in the language and everything, it is a matter of practicing because you have good pronunciation, you have a lot of vocabulary, you have this conversational fluency, 
the only thing that you need to do is to practice a little bit more. Yes. For I you to retake it. For you to retake it. But in general, about the language, what do you consider is the most difficult part for you? Oh, it's a good question. Do you consider that listening is the most difficult or reading is the most difficult mm, or speaking? No. Maybe speaking. Speaking. Maybe. And do you have the chance to practice with someone during the day? ¿Tienes no. alguien con quien pueda practicar? No. Nothing. Nothing. No one. Okay, and how do you practice? Only my English? dog. If he starts <laughs> answering, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> si él empieza no. a contestar, so that, that's a problem. Saquemos mm. like National Geographic. No, sería genial. <laughs> like, ay, Nelson. <laughs> ya la regamos, Nelson. <laughs> okay, so uh, it is important. For example, so the practice that we started doing, it's going to help you a lot because you are going to have the chance to actually produce the language. I always say that uh, practice is going to make perfection. If you don't have anybody yes. to practice with, besides the voice note that we record in the group, you can do your own, okay? Además de las notas de voz que, que trabajemos en el grupo, lo que puede hacer es que, por ejemplo, usted es muy tecnológico, ¿verdad? Yo sé que usted es muy tecnológico. Sí. Puede ir guardando un record de notas de voz o de grabaciones en su computadora acerca de cualquier cosa que haya pasado en el día. So, or you can say like a, like a kind of journal, okay? But speaking. Sí. Cuando, cuando tienen problemas con vocabulario, siempre les recomiendo que lo escriban. Pero en el caso suyo, si usted me dice que quiere practicar speaking, puede ser como un journal eh, virtual. Así como, ah, oh, today was a very difficult day. I woke up very early in the morning. I did this and this and this and that. It's like keeping a diary, but uh, speaking. Okay, como que llevar un diario, pero en, en grabaciones. Sí. It's in English, so don't worry about people reading your secrets there. So make yes. it general, right? Make it general. Uh, talking about the things that you did, the activities that you did during the day. So you practice past tense uh, it, it, through yes. speaking. Uh, you can also type it if you want. So you practice vocabulary, reading, writing, and speaking at the same time. It is a very good practice. Cualquiera puede decir, no, es como que, no, teacher, como voy a estar yo grabando todos los días. It helps a lot. Right? When you don't have anybody to practice with. Si usted tuviera alguna persona con quien, la, con quien pudiera practicar, está, bueno, está todo el grupo ahí, todo el team que le puede ayudar también. Pero cuando hay casos así específicos que me dicen mis alumnos, no, teacher, yo no tengo, o sea, nadie con quien practicar, siempre esta práctica es muy buena. ¿Ok? Hacer estas como grabaciones todos los uh -huh. días. About all your day. Since you woke up until you went to bed. ¿Ok? It was, I woke up at five in the morning, I took a shower, I had uh, pupusas for breakfast, I went to work, I rode my bike, I arrived early, I did this and these activities, uh, I had this problem at work, I came back home at 5 p.m., I did this, I had this for dinner, I had this in class, in class we started about this, this, this and this, it was a good day, bye, and you close it, right? Then the next day you do the same and the next day and the next day. So it helps a lot. Another thing that helps a lot for speaking is reading out loud. Si tiene un libro de repente en inglés, you can no. start reading. You don't, have, you don't have any book in English? No. Okay, uh, so um, I think I have your email. If not, send me your email in WhatsApp. I am going to send you a collection of very simple books that you can okay. read that you can read, they are in PDF, so you can start reading them aloud. Los puede empezar a leer en voz alta. And that helps a lot to practice okay. speaking and pronunciation, okay? So please send me your email to my WhatsApp. Okay. And I am going to send you these books. The, these books are very like kind of basic, but they are fun. They, are, they have very simple vocabulary and they are going to help you a lot, okay? So that is going to be very useful for uh, your speaking practice. 
about the platform, about the exercises? Have you had any difficulties? Mm, no, no. Oh, oh. Todo bien. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> So, okay, continue advancing on that one. And I am going to help you with uh, what you need to practice the language, okay? So, uh, Mr. Nelson, I really appreciate your staying in these last minutes of the class. Para esto sirve el one-on-one, -on -one, para conocerlo un poquito más, para ver sus necesidades y para, pues, apoyarle en, en lo que usted necesite. Okay, Nelson? I need an advice. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm. No conozco esta palabra, así que la voy a decir así en uh -huh. español. Eh, creo que ahorita es como el problema, es que me cuesta como enfocarme. Ok, Porque, so, o sea, uh -huh. puedo, digamos, saber qué decir y todo eso, pero ahorita como que me está costando la construcción, vea. Entonces, no, no, trato de enfocarme, pero se me va rápido. Entonces, eso es lo que me está ahorita... Porque soy alguien bien espontáneo, o sea, uh, si yeah, I know. Me, 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 me dicen algo, veo que, que locura, ok, y, y fluye, pero a veces estoy teniendo esos como, esa, esa mano bloqueo, ahí así, lo sí, bien constante, eh, sí. pero eh, es eso... parte también, pues, lo del trabajo también creo que me está, está trato, de, trato de sacar, pero sí me cuesta. Sí, es que como acuérdense también que como está volviendo a poner su cerebro en el track del, del aprendizaje, vea. Sí. Entonces de repente cuesta mucho este, el hecho de, de despegar eso, vea. Pero sí, el hecho de eh, cuando le pase eso, solo eh, como que deténgase un rato y, y piense la idea, ¿ok? Porque a mí a veces me pasa que yo quiero decirlo así como que bien rápido, vea. ¿Eh? Y así ¿Usted? como, <risa> yeah, it happens to me as well, yeah, don't worry. It happens to me that I want to say the idea, but it's like, no, 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 it's not like that. So I have to stop, think, organize, and then express. But I think it's a matter of retaking the language, right? Como ahorita está retomando todo de nuevo, y creo que es un, una parte del proceso de, de ir metiendo okay. otra vez en el chip del, del idioma, en sí, el cerebro. Bien, yes. sí. Pero oh. sí me ayudó algo que dijo la vez pasada. Dijo, disfrute de sus errores. Eso me ayudó. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's Entonces, normal because we are learning. Sí me ayudó a como a quitar un poco de tensión. Yeah. It, it's, in some cases, we are too perfectionist. And we say, no, it has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. I cannot make mistakes. You are learning. We are all learning. So you have to enjoy the process. Enjoy yes. the process of learning. Don't forget to send me your email. I will yeah. send you the books for you to practice and that is going to help you a little bit on this process of learning more. Okay. okay. Have a beautiful night, Nelson, and I'm going to see you tomorrow in okay. the next class. See Have you a tomorrow. good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Rest. Bye-bye.